It makes me feel, again, like I'm not a nobody. <laughs> PJ Blair may be a lot of things, but he's definitely not a nobody. He's just giving us motivation throughout the season and showing us to enjoy life. I mean, he's upbeat, he's energetic, he's, he's doing really, really well. PJ Blair is a typical fifth grader dealing with atypical adversity. Two months ago, he was diagnosed with Ewing sarcoma. It's a very rare bone cancer. Only about three to 400 cases are reported a year. You can't even really explain the struggles he has to go through. I couldn't even imagine what he has to go through. Despite his illness, PJ is a big football fan. He really wanted to come. He's a big football guy, big athletic guy. And so he wanted to come to football games. But because of his treatments, he can't be around people a whole lot. So head coach Andy Hall did him one better. When PJ was able to make it to a game, he got to meet the team personally and more. He brought us in through the coach's entrance and the team was getting ready to line up and he got to lead the team out onto the field. The team is really fun to hang out with. It's really cool. Not everybody gets to do that and I know I'm very special to get to do that. After meeting PJ, Ironman players decided they wanted to get to know him just a little bit better. We went to visit him because we figured he'd like that. You know, you may have some homework, but if you guys want to jump in the car and go to Ethan Quinn's house, he'll take you over. Well, 40 kids showed up. And he started talking about how he's real good at Call of Duty, so uh, Derek Rafferty played him in a match and he ended up beating Derek. Well, other than kicking people's butts in Call of Duty, <laughs> <laughs> um, it was really fun. PJ's got an artsy side as well. He loves to draw his favorite characters, something Hall decided to take advantage of. I said, if you can come to next week's game, I want a Jackson Ironman, and I want a blue Gabalist G, and I want you doing something to that G. PJ met Hall at a pep rally Thursday night to give him his picture, and Hall had a little surprise for him as well. Got my, got my shirt on today too. <laughs> Those shirts PJ and Coach are wearing are two of 2,000. An anonymous donor gave $10,000 to print those t-shirts to sell for a blackout this past Friday against Chillicothe and raised almost $20,000 along the way. For Robin Blair, the support has been a gift. The words of encouragement and the support, not just financially, because you know you need the other stuff too. You need the emotional support. You need to know that people are in your corner. For the Jackson community, PJ's given them much more than they could ever return. Inspiration and somebody to rally behind. When someone is struggling, whether it's financially, whether it's emotionally, whether it's spiritually or whatever the case is, this community will step forth and help out in any way.